it's Ruby. It's time for another Las Vegas Buffet review. Today we are in Summerlin at the Rampart Casino at their Marketplace Buffet to try the Monday night dinner. Let's go check it out. got seated here at Rampart's Buffet. So it is Monday, their dinner buffet is open Thursday through Monday and they're all different with different prices. Monday's is $28. We are Rampart Premier, which means we're pretty high tier up. We were able to go in a different line and we saved like six bucks a piece. They definitely take care of their players here. So this is pretty much like their standard dinner buffet. We are gonna see what they have on offer. I'm ready to eat. Some beautiful looking fried chicken here. And right next to it, rosemary pork chop. Ooh, that's unique. I don't think we've ever had that on a buffet. Let's get that. Lovely. Ooh, fried shrimp. Mr. Ruby's gonna be excited. I actually do like fried shrimp. I know. Yeah, get a bunch of those bad boys. <laughs> I know, I'm confusing. I'll get a bunch so that you can eat them all. Some oven roasted potatoes. These kind of look like the ones I make at the house, which means they should be pretty good. There's potatoes stuck in them, so they're like, oh, it's hard to scoop. Let's get some mashed potatoes. Ooh, I see the skin in there. I like when they keep the skin in. That looks really good. Put a little gravy on it. I know Mr. Mister would like some gravy on those. I am going to get some carrots because they look delicious. Look how good those look. Yum. I'm gonna get one of these little baby, baby Wagyu sliders. They do have french fries, but I think we have enough potatoes, don't you? The, let's try a little bit, I'll try a little of the chicken. Like a breast or like? Oh, a uh, breast, please. Just a little tiny bit. Yeah, that's perfect, thank you. And then I'll try a little of the turkey as well. I just wanna try a little of everything. I'll try the prime rib too, please. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> that's probably good, thank you. All right, so we started at the very far end of the buffet and we'll just maybe work our way this way. It was all meats and potatoes. All the good stuff. There were tons of meats on offer. I'm gonna start here with the fried chicken. It looks really good. I am just gonna kind of pick it up and bite it. That's a really nice piece of fried chicken. So the meat inside, very nice and tender, moist, not dry at all, coming off the bone really easily. The breading is perfectly crisp and crunchy. Not heavily seasoned. I think I could do for some more seasoning, a little more salty, more herbs but it is just a very solid piece of just your standard fried chicken. For somebody who's looking for that, it's, it's really decent. I liked it, but I really wanna try this rosemary grilled pork chop. I can't remember the last time we even had a pork chop on buffet, so this will be exciting. Let's give this a go. The pork is delicious. Mm. The pork is perfectly thin, so it's not too chewy, not hard to chew, not tough. Very nice texture. I can taste the rosemary. They've also got some sort of like a pepper and onion blend in there and it's really, really nice. The onion is complimenting that pork really great. That's a good dish. I really like that. That I recommend for sure. I like that more than the fried chicken actually. I'm gonna do some of these fried shrimp. Uh, spoiler alert, Mr. Ruby has come to this dinner buffet before and he really likes these fried shrimp. So let's give one a go. The fried shrimp is delicious. The breading is perfectly crispy. It has this nice oiliness to it. There's no other way to describe it, but you can taste the oil and it tastes really good. And the shrimp inside has a perfect texture. It's perfectly cooked. It is very simple. It's just a simple piece of fried shrimp, but it's darn good. I really like it. I'm gonna try this little Wake You Burger. It looks like it's on kind of like a brioche bun. It is like a firmer roll, like a hard roll. Um, I'm seeing a little bit of sauce. There's pickle in here. There is some cheese. Let's give this a go. A very yummy little burger. Oh my gosh. The pickle comes through. The sauce is kind of like a Big Mac sauce, I would say. I was worried that the roll was gonna be like stale or hard because it is that hard roll, but it bites perfectly through. It's nice and soft on the inside. And the meat is really nice. It's nothing crazy, but it's like, it's really good. This is a very solid little burger. Better than I was expecting. I thought that was gonna be kind of like a whatever 
part of this plate, but it's solid. I like it. All right, let's try our side dishes, you guys. Let's try some of these roasted potatoes. We got red skin potatoes here. They look like they've just got some light seasoning, maybe a little pepper. Let's see how it goes. Oh, that is a good starch. Ooh, what's in that? Butter. Mmm, a lot of good butter. Those are cooked to absolute perfection where the skin is still waxy, there's still a bite to it, but the inside is that like fluffy, buttery, starchy goodness. And then there's just a little bit of a, maybe a light pepper seasoning to it. Nothing complicated, very solid, delicious piece of potato. Ugh, so far, everything has been simple, but delicious. Just no fuss, no muss, but good quality food. I'm very happy with it so far. Let's try the mash and gravy. I think they also were using red skin for the mashed potatoes because I can see some of the skin in there. I like when they leave skin in mashed potato. And we'll try it out. They are red skin potato. They are using real potatoes. I can absolutely taste that. This is gonna be much more simple. It's a very, very pureed mashed potato. With the skins in there, I thought there might be a little bit of chunks, but there's not. I do like chunks in mine. So this is very smooth puree. The gravy's fine. Um, it's just kind of like salty. There's not a lot I'm tasting there, but it's a very solid. I liked the roasted potatoes better. I would definitely go for those over the mashed potatoes, but they were both good. All right, let's have a carrot. I had to have a Bugs Bunny moment with these carrots because like they look amazing glazed so they're tossing a little bit of butter mm, there's a little sweetness because the carrots natural sweetness is coming out while they were roasted perfectly soft when you take a bite but there's still a bite to it it's not soggy a very solid vegetable this whole plate was really good i mean the standouts here were probably the fried shrimp oh i really like that burger too and i like the pork chop so a lot of really good stuff on this plate but we got to try the carving meats okay we grabbed a few of the carving meats they had prime rib. They said they have that every single day, which is amazing. Let's try this chicken first, this roast chicken. The skin looks really delicious. I'm curious to see what they've seasoned this with. Let's give it a shot. That is really good. I like that way more than I like the fried chicken. The breading has got this light, kind of like paprika-y, coriander-y, peppery flavor. It's excellent. It is so, so good. And then the meat underneath is so tender. This is like a very good piece of chicken. Normally, like the chicken and the carving meats, it's like whatever. No, don't skip that. Wow, I really liked the breading. I wonder what they were using for the spices because it's really good. All right, let's try the turkey. Hopefully the turkey's as delicious as that chicken was because that's blowing me away. That was really yummy. The turkey is good. Not at all dry. Tastes like a very solid like Thanksgiving turkey breast. But the chicken blows it out of the water because whatever they're doing with the seasoning there is exceptional. So I would absolutely choose the chicken over the turkey. But the turkey was still good. We got prime rib. Full disclosure, I feel like I've said this before. I don't love prime rib. Although this time I did put the au jus sauce on because I feel like maybe that's what I'm missing out on. Maybe it's that it needs the sauce. This does look really good. It looks a little more well done than some of the other prime rib we had. And um, I'm thinking that's a good thing for us maybe. Uh, let's give it a shot. Let's just see how it is. It's good. I still don't love prime rib. The au jus is really nice. I think that did add something to it. I like it better this way. The texture is wonderful. I mean, it's well done. It's just not my favorite kind of meat, but it's there. And I mean, you guys got to see how good it looks. So there's that. Out of the carving meats though, that chicken just blows me away. So I would absolutely get that again. We are gonna finish these plates together and then go for our next round. Gotta try the spring rolls. You guys know I love them. Let's get one of those. And then veggie pot stickers. Get one for each of us. The house fried rice. That looks like pork, if I was to guess, of what the meat is in here. Mm -hmm. Garlic, broccoli, that looks Amazing. Their vegetables here are calling to me, you guys. Ooh, beef kung pao. Ooh, with like um, little baby corn. I love that. Yakisoba noodles. These look so good. Oh, crispy garlic chicken. This little piece right here is calling to me. We're going to put that right on our plate. Oh my gosh, look at that. All right, we decided to bop over to the Asian section because everything looked really good. We are going to try the house fried rice. 
This has got peas, carrots. I'm thinking this is pork. That's my guess. It didn't say. I will find out. Here we go. I was gonna say pork, but I can honestly say that tastes very profoundly like chicken, like dark meat chicken. So now I'm second guessing myself. I'm tasting a lot of garlic here. That is really, really coming through. A little bit of oil. Um, it's a very mild fried rice. Tons of egg. Lots and lots of eggs scattered throughout. I like a lot of egg in my fried rice. It looked a little sticky, so I was concerned it was gonna be gummy, but it's not at all, not as I'm eating it. It's really good. Solid. Let's try this Kung Pao beef. This looks delicious. I am seeing celery, baby corn. Uh, it looks like some carrot. I'm seeing chili flakes on this beef. So it might have a little kick. Let's see. I'm not opposed to a little bit of spice. Not spicy at all. No spice, which is fine. I don't think a lot of people love super spicy food. They're playing it safe. It tastes like a very solid like beef and broccoli. The beef is excellent. It's very tender. Um, and the vegetables are really nice with it. Like the celery is a good compliment, but it does not have any like heat. So I usually like it to be a little spicy. It's safe, it's good. If you wanted some beef and fried rice, you would really enjoy it, you would be fine. Let us try these yakisoba noodles. These smell really good. Like they just, they look very inviting. I'm excited. Let's get this stuff. Oh, those are so good. That's my favorite on the plate right now. There's a little bit of peanut oil. Um, it's giving the noodles the most delicious flavor. There's some cabbage in here. The texture of the noodles is lovely. And they just have this really rich, like umami flavor to them while I'm eating them. Like it makes you want to go back and just eat more and more noodles. Ooh, these are really good. All right, we got some other stuff here. Garlic chicken. There are so many meats on this buffet. Like truly that impresses me a lot for being what I would say is not a huge buffet. It's like all meats. So that's great. Let's try the garlic chicken. This is bone in chicken. They really know how to cook chicken here at the Rampart Buffet. That is so good. Again, like incredibly tender, juicy chicken meat. The skin, tons of garlic. Like I'm getting like a nice heavy amount of garlic which is how it should be if it's called garlic chicken. That's killer too, wow. Very happy with the chicken selections. All right, let's try these pot stickers. They have vegetable pot stickers. They also had some spring rolls. Let's see how this is. Mmm. Pot stickers really good. Absolutely loaded with filling, like crammed full of filling. Really nice veggie flavor. And then the outside is incredibly crispy. The wonton is really nice. Fried to perfection. Those are good. Let's see how the spring roll compares. Same deal, looks like it's got a lot of good filling in it. The spring roll's good. Better than I've had at a lot of the other buffets, but the pot sticker's way better. It's like really crispy and has so much filling in it. I would go with the pot sticker. Here I would get the garlic chicken again. I would definitely get the broccoli and I would absolutely get those noodles. Those noodles are so darn good. I could go back for a second plate of those, but we gotta finish this and see what else I got. Short rib ravioli oh my gosh that looks so good cream cheese tortellini that looks really good too oh my gosh yum mac and cheese with the spirally noodles and chicken alfredo absolutely we are gonna be really full after this plate. This is the pasta section. Oh my gosh, they all looked so good. Mr. Ruby made me get a huge pile of the short rib raviolis, which tells me um, they're probably really good. <laughs> Let's try, they look amazing. The meat inside is just like this perfect stew meat. And it's like the most beautiful consistency inside of a really perfect ravioli it's it's not just the filling that's doing this it's that the pasta is so perfectly al dente and it tastes like such pressed pasta it's making a huge difference there's parsley on this this is delicious okay cream cheese tortellini i love tortellini so i'm excited for this i'm seeing some sun-dried tomato in this sauce there's peas in here which is kind of fun let's let's see how this is oh the tortellini is really good too though it's interesting. It's got this really bright sauce. It's almost like a vodka sauce, but they have corn and peas in here. So they're doing some sort of like a fusion situation. There's like sun-dried tomatoes in here. The tortellini, again, is like a perfect piece of pasta. 
with just a like really classic cheese filling inside. Those are equal, actually. I liked both of those. They were both really good. Mm. We're gonna eat all that and it's gonna be really hard to get another plate, you guys. Okay, let's try the macaroni and cheese, the good spirally kind. That's good. We saw them actually like making it. Like you can see them all like working on the food while, you, while you're eating it, which is kind of nice. And we saw the cheese fondue sauce that he had there. So it is a real cheese sauce. I can taste that they made like a roux for it. It's got that texture. It doesn't taste like the canned kind of cheese. And again, the pasta itself is really well done. It does not compare to these other two, but if you're not into these, the macaroni is very solid. And let's try some chicken Alfredo. I don't know, these were heavy hitters to start with, you guys. I probably should have went the other way around. Let's see how the Alfredo is. Oh no, that one's really good too. It almost tastes like a cacio e pepe. Like there's a ton of Parmesan cheese flavor. And then I'm getting like a little kick of pepper on the end. Uh, the noodles, again, like an Alfredo noodle, so really nice. The texture is really creamy. Ooh, that one was good too. Honestly, we avoid pastas at buffets. We typically don't eat them, but like, you gotta try these, especially the short rib. Wow. We're gonna eat all this and at least go for one more plate before dessert. I am gonna grab a small slice of this veggie pizza. That looks very nice. All right, this cauliflower looks amazing. I'm getting, I'm getting my veggies this round, you guys. Look at me. Let's get some rice pilaf too while we're at it, right? We've come this far. Okay, I will try this lemon pepper salmon. They also have another baked chicken, but I truly cannot do any more chicken. And like a seafood mussel sort of situation over here. This is gonna be my last plate before dessert because I am getting so full, but there were a lot of other offerings we didn't grab. They do have a chilled seafood section. They had salads, they have soup, they had rolls, they had meats and cheeses, and there was also some antipasti. Otherwise, for the most part, we did grab a lot. I think we got a good amount of the offerings. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna do this plate and then we're gonna get some desserts, guys. Let's try some rice pilaf. That's good. Um, there's like a little bit of carrots in here, like very small and fine. The rice is perfectly cooked. Really nice texture. Tastes a lot like, um, a chicken broth. It's what it's reminding me of the most. Um, just like a very solid rice. Very, very normal. I'm getting really full, guys. <laughs> I'm struggling. <laughs> it's good. Let me try the, let me get some cauliflower up in my life here. Um, I will be eating all of this cauliflower. Mr. Ruby doesn't like it. He calls it ghost broccoli. Um, this looks really nice and roasted. Let's give it a go. That is really good cauliflower. The roasting just brings out all the nice natural sweetness. The texture is excellent. I will be eating all of that and it will make me feel great. Let's do some pizza, you guys. After the cardboard pizza we had in the last review, I feel like we need a good piece of pizza. I got a veggie, let's give it a shot. That is genuinely a very good piece of pizza. The cheese is like really, really nice. Big thick layer of cheese. There's basil and some red pepper on there. And the crust is really perfect as well. Like genuinely, I'm so full and that's still a really good piece of pizza. Let's get some salmon in our lives here. The last piece of meat that I can stomach today. It almost smells a little bit spicy from the peppers. Let's see. It's lovely, okay. The salmon is more done than I usually like. I do like more of a medium salmon. <laughs> but the sauce itself, is delicious it's kind of tangy it's a little sharp there's almost a kick to it it's not spicy but it's like got a little bit of that tang there it's a really nice piece of fish i would eat that again i mean on this plate everything was good that pizza really surprised me so i would say maybe give the pizza a shot if you're here we're gonna finish this and then it's time for dessert so they do have a huge section of no sugar added, but I'm gonna start here with these little fruit tarts. This is absolutely adorable. All right, I'll grab a pecan tart. Raspberry Napoleon, ooh, yes. So I really wanna try this honey cake. This looks amazing, look at this. It's right next to, there's a gluten-free flourless one next to it, if you guys need that. I am gonna get one of these cookies. It just looks good, black and white cookie. I don't know, it's calling me, you guys. And we'll finish it off with a brownie. I am stuffing my plates too full. Ah, it's falling apart. 
It's dessert time. We did it. I grabbed a lot of offerings, but they did have some gluten-free. They had some no sugar added stuff, just so you guys are aware. There was also some gelato and soft serve ice cream. So I might get some lemon sorbet after this as if I haven't eaten enough. Let's do this little pecan pie. It looks so cute. It's like a little pecan tart. I'm just gonna bite it. That's nice. The crust is perfect. It's still crispy. Uh, easy to chew, not hard, but like a perfect crunch. The filling is nice. It's got a good filling to it. I can really taste the nuts, but I like my pecan pie to be way sweeter. Like I like it like cloyingly sweet. And this is more nut forward. So it's okay, it's not my favorite. Let's try the fruit tart. This is gorgeous. I'm guessing there's a little bit of custard in here. I've got a strawberry and like a Pat Sucre tart. Let's see how this is. There's a sugar crust, nice and sweet, crispy. There's a little bit of a chocolate layer and then just like a soft vanilla -y custard with some fresh fruit and they put a little bit of glaze. A very delicate dessert. That's a really nice one to finish your meal. I do like my fruit tarts to be more delicate and not too sweet and that one hits the mark there. So I do like that one. Let's try this Napoleon. This looks really nice, like super thin layers of the crispy pastry. There will be like a thin layer of sugary glaze on top and then there should be some cream. So let's see. I'm destroying it as I'm trying to eat it here. That's actually really nice. I am getting a little bit of fake raspberry in the glaze, but it's not overwhelming. The pastry cream is really fresh. Like the cream chantilly is really fresh. And then the pastry is perfect. It's really thin, crispy, buttery layers. So it's overall just like a well-executed dessert. These are all very light. They're not crazy sweet. They're not overwhelming. I kind of like a little bit of sugar in my dessert, but like these are very solid. If you had a big meal, it's not overwhelming or cloying. Let's try the brownie. Brownie was like falling apart while I was trying to use my tongs. It looks very fudgy. I love a fudgy brownie. That's where it's at. Mm. That is like a Betty Crocker pan of fudge brownies. That is delicious. I would just pile ice cream on that and eat it, and that would be my dessert. Yes, 10 out of 10, no notes. Let's try this cookie, a little black and white cookie. I really chose it random for you guys. It's not very exciting. It's just like a very normal biscuit cookie, like a shortbread. And then it has like a really light frosting on the top. The frosting doesn't really have much flavor to it. So like, yeah, the brownie was way better. All right, this honey cake, last one. I'm very curious about this. It's incredibly dense, like insanely dense. I could feel the honey on my fingers when I picked it up. Let's see. Flavor-wise, I love that. It is so sweet, so, so sweet. All this honey is like soaked into there. There's a little bit of powdered sugar on the top. The flavor is excellent. It's a little claggy. It's, it's um, I don't know if it's just been sitting a little bit, but it has this like, kind of like hard, dense texture to it, which isn't very pleasant. So the texture is not very good, even though the flavor is very good. My favorite was the brownie. The Napoleon was really good and so were the fruit tarts. So like overall, the, the desserts are fine. Just finished up at the Marketplace Buffet at Rampart. And I highly recommend this one. We've eaten here before. It's always been incredibly solid. I'm giving it two thumbs up. Let me know if you guys wanna see the Hawaiian night or the champagne brunch. We'd be happy to come back and check those out. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next.